Hi, this is Chad um, for Foundation Digital Media, and I'm going to be talking about an assignment titled Pen Tool Basics. So I'll go over the assignment first, and then I will go over um, how to do it. So the assignment is called Pen Tool Basics. Um, you are going to be tracing over all the shapes in the provided AI file. And that's AI's Adobe Illustrator. It's a native format for Adobe Illustrator. When you trace over these objects, use only a stroke of one point in some type of bright color and no fill for all your shapes. And here's how you do it. So you go into Blackboard and into Documents and Content and download the Pen Tool Basics AI file. You open up the file in Illustrator and then there's three pages in the assignment. Page one, you'll trace over, it has angular shapes only, which you'll just use anchor points for. Page two and three used cur uses curved shapes, um, where you'll use anchor points and handles. Complete all the pages, um, save it, upload the PDF to your portfolio account, and then submit the URL to that new um, project in portfolio into Blackboard. And that's how you that's how you'll do it so let's let's get started um, okay so it comes up looking like this the file does this is page one has a grid over the top we can turn that grid off pretty simply by going to view and then a little bit further past what we'll see here to hide grid hide grid and um, so I'm gonna zoom in on um, my objects here now right now if I drew a pen line here's the pen tool um, I would have a white fill and a black stroke and that's not what I want remember I wanted a no fill and some kind of colorful stroke so a few ways to um, take care of that an easy one is to double click on this and it brings up your color picker window um, oops I can't do an none in this so let me here's how you do a none so there's the fill none is right here so we'll click none when we have a, a box with a red line through it this is our fill on top and this is our stroke underneath that means we'll have we'll, when we draw we'll have a no fill on this to change our stroke color we're going to double click on this bottom box um, which is kind of the outline of um, an object and again we'll uh, bring up a color picker and I might just choose like kind of a bright magenta and I want to make sure that I am just drawing with a point one so I'm going to go to my stroke palette and make sure that it's point one and it, and it is so here we go um, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more and to zoom in would be um, a shortcut in Illustrator is spacebar and control at the same time. We'll let you zoom in. And if you hold down your mouse while you're zooming in and you drag up, you will zoom, you'll um, be able to zoom in. And then if you drag to the bottom right, you'll be able to zoom out. So here we go. Um, this first one again is just um, anchors we're dealing with. So it's just a click. So I'm going to go to the beginning of this line and click my mouse for the first time. I'm not clicking and holding down and dragging. Don't do that. That'll be, that creates something else. So just clicking, and then I'll go to the end point of that line, and then click. So there's my line, and I'm ready to go on to my next shape. However, Illustrator's not ready. It thinks I want to continue doing something else um, or continue to make another shape. To get rid of this little rubber band effect, um, you could either click on this selection tool, click away, and then click back onto the pen tool, or you can just click control on a PC or command on a Mac to temporarily go to a selection tool. So I'm at the direct selection tool. I'll click away. That will deselect it. And if I release that key, I'm back at the pen and I can continue um, working on the next item okay so that is um, that is that night again command on the Mac control on the PC now this is a good uh, example to show this 
I've clicked in the wrong spot. So how do I adjust that so it goes directly over this gray line? Well, um, the selection tool, the black arrow tool, if I mouse over it, you'll see selection tool. If I click that, I'm able to move the entire object around. Um, right, I'm trying to click on the corner, but the entire object comes with me. If I only want to click on a point or an anchor here, I can use the direct selection tool. I'm going to zoom in close. So if I mouse over it, now here I have an issue. I'm drawing in magenta and my selection color is red. So I'm going to change my selection color. I'm going to quickly go into layers and I'm drawing on the artwork. You can see it's selected, the artwork layer, and it's coming over in red. If I want to change this color, I would double click, click on the empty area of the um, layer I'm working on. Change it from light red to like a cyan. Okay, and then I'll put that away. So if I click on that now, you can see that nicely. So if I click on that once, um, it's just going to move that, that one point, and I'll just scooch it up right into place. And then I'm going to use the space bar, the hand tool, to move over to the next um, object. And this one looks okay. It's a little bit... It's not perfect. We're going to get it perfect because that counts for a lot. Um, and so I'm using the direct selection tool, the white arrow tool, to move these singular points. And you can see I was quite a ways off on most of them, so it's a good idea to go in and to uh, try to adjust. Okay. So you get the idea on this. Um, you know what? This is going to be helpful. I'm going to do a complete shape. Um, pen tool. And I'm just going to click around in a... So I'm picking... I'm Notice I am not stopping and then picking up again. Um, what could happen if you don't do it right is your object will not be completed in... Um, one continuous stroke and you really want it to be. So you can tell if you do that is by when you go back to the original anchor point that you first clicked on, see the little circle next to my cursor? Um, that means I'm making a complete shape and so it's all connected. And that's getting you ready for the next assignment. Um, and I wasn't perfect on here. I should go in and change it, but let me just show you. Um, if I um, bring up my color palette. Here's my fill, and I can change that to a color, and I can, it completely fills because um, it's it's all connected. The entire shape connects from the beginning to the end. If it wasn't, it would color parts of it. Okay, so let's move to the um, the curved area. Um, and so now we're going to be dealing with anchor points and uh, handles. And those help make anchor points, uh, make create curves. One thing I want to mention off to the right here is um, how Illustrator makes um, its circles. Notice that how many anchor points there are and where they're located. There are four, and they're located at the very top, very bottom, very left, and very right. So we want... And that gives you the, the smoothest curve and most economical means. So that's how we're going to try to approach these and how I would suggest you approaching creating curves on this. So we can consider this a half circle. I'm going to click at the very beginning and then at the very top and the very right. Because and So that's like half a circle. Okay. Right now we're just putting in anchor points. We end there. And now to make curves out of them, I'm still in the pen tool. I'm going to hold down the Alt key on the PC or Option on the Mac. And I get this little flying V tool, but when I mouse over a straight line, I get a new tool, and it's like a bent line tool or something like that. I don't know what it's called. So I'm going to click and drag this. And you can see that there's handles emerging. And um, uh, I'm going to position this 
So you can see it's not right on, but you know what is on are these ends, and that's what I'm mostly concerned about. Now I'm going to go in and adjust the handles, and now I just need to adjust how long they are. Um, and I'm trying to get this to line up over the, the gray kind of exactly. And do it with this next one. And that so it's correct nearer the anchors and not so much in the middle. See how it's pretty on right here and here. Now I'm just going to adjust um, the distance of my anchors. And this one is off. So again, if I see that off, I'm going to use the direct selection tool. I've clicked away just so nothing's selected. And then I'm going to click on it and just move it over to the right spot. Great. And now I'm back to I'm adjusting this. So I can adjust the handles not only with the pen tool holding down Alt or um, Option on the Mac, but with the direct selection tool will let me alter um, handles. And I guess I should bring this up too, is that looking at, at a, a pen or a, a exact circle that when the illustrator draws, when I click on this area to reveal the handles, the handles are exactly at a zero degree and exactly at a 90 degree. So you could take that clue for making um, your, your um, circles very nice. So you'll complete this page and then you'll move on and do this dig dig page. Um, after this is all traced out and on as close as you can, you'll save this as a PDF to do that. You'll choose File, Save As, and then um, wherever, wherever you want to save it. I'm just going to drop it in Downloads for now. Um, and you will, from Format, you'll choose um, PDF, Adobe PDF under the Format. And then um, just click Save, and this this PDF acts as a, a native file. When you save it from Illustrator, this P, the PDF can open again and be editable. Um, not all PDFs do that, but the ones that are created in Illustrator, saved, and then opened again in Illustrator, that'll work for. Okay, well, that is um, all I wanted to show. Um, I hope that gave you enough information about completing the Pen Tool Basics assignment.